What well, up, family? Welcome to the Andy Monumental Training Vlog. Hopefully you got a chance to check out my video from last week. If not, I will direct you to that video at the end of this one. But getting right to it, for this training block, I'm going to be following the Hansen's Marathon Method. And with the Hansen's Marathon Method, they follow the philosophy of cumulative fatigue. And basically what cumulative fatigue means is during my training week, which will be uh, Monday through Sunday, but the bulk of that training week, Monday through Saturday, I'll be accumulating a lot of mileage. So come time of my long run, which will be on Sundays, I will be running on tired legs. Now, another big part of their principle of the cumulative fatigue factor is that the marathon, excuse me, the long run only accounts for 25% of my weekly mileage. So rather than having a big chunk of my weekly mileage being the long run, it's only going to be a quarter of that. And because I'll be running on tired legs, I will actually be simulating the last part of the race rather than the beginning part of the race. So when it comes time to run that marathon, I'll, I already know what it feels like to run on tired legs, to run on fatigued legs when that really kicks in. <laughs> So with the program that I'm following, which is their beginner program, I'm gonna be doing a 12 week training block. Now traditionally with the beginner program, the training block is actually 18 weeks. Um, the first five weeks of that program is a slow build up until week six, when you start getting into the SOS workouts. I'm actually just starting at week six. I've done my own build up to this point. So I just skipped through the build up and just done my own. Now within this training block, this calls for six days of training and I plan on following the whole six days. So for me, that's gonna be Monday, Tuesday, off on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, off on Wednesday. All right, so breaking down what my training week is gonna look like on Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays will be my easy mileage days. So that'll be my non-workout days and my recovery days. Now, easy mileage will also consist of my warm up and cool down from the SOS workouts as well too. And what my SOS uh, workouts actually stand for is uh, something to substance, which will include speed workouts, strength workouts, tempo workouts, and the long run is included with, with that as well too. So my speed workouts and strength workouts will be on Tuesdays. The first five weeks of this training block will be my speed training and the final seven weeks will be my strength training so what the speed workouts are are the interval based workouts that i do on the track to gain speed my strength workouts now are uh, designed for me to maintain the speed that i've gained but also learn how to handle the fatigue that comes with running the marathon on thursdays now which i will be doing for the duration of this 12 weeks will be my tempo days tempo days for the hansen's marathon training method means marathon pace work all right so i'm learning how to internalize that pace and really learn how it feels without having to constantly look at my watch and make sure that i'm on pace i'll be doing this over a variety of conditions because we know the temperature will change and i plan on traveling to different places so learning how that feels over a variety of terrains as well too. And then finally, the long run, as I talked about at the beginning of this, is simulating the end of the race, not the beginning of the race, because I will be running on fatigue legs. And my long runs are gonna be on Sundays. All right, now the challenges for me with this training block is this will be the most mileage that I've ever put my body through within any training block uh, that I've done. Now, once again, this is only my second time training for a marathon. And the first time I trained, I didn't have near the volume in that training program that I'm gonna be putting into this one. So I got my work cut out for me. Also, there's no traditional 20 mile long run within this training program. Now, you probably know if you were a runner that, and especially if you run a marathon, that the 20 mile long run is the holy grail of marathon workouts. Um, you can't have a training program without having a 20 mile long run within it. But 
because I'm riding with the Hanses on this one and trusting that the principle of cumulative fatigue really works. My longest long run is going to be 16 miles. Uh -huh. 16 miles is once again 25% of my weekly mileage. And that 16 miles is going to be simulating the last 16 miles of the uh, marathon rather than the first 16 miles of the marathon. So although psychologically it messes with me because I've been so ingrained that there has to be 20 mile long runs within this training block, I'm trusting in the process and trusting in the plan, trusting in the answers that they know what they're talking about. And I'm going to ride these 16s out. Now, the last challenge for me is I'm a husband. I'm a father of four. I've got a big household, and I made a commitment to my family, and I've also made a commitment to this training block. So I know that there's going to be ha there's going to have to be sacrifices on both ends of the spectrum. But my first obligation is always going to be to my family. So I have to be creative with how I'm getting my runs in, whether that's uh, waking up early to do it getting them in between my training clients, uh, running later on within the day, however, but I made the commitment to my family and the commitment to myself with this training program. And I'm gonna honor both of those commitments. It's gonna be a sacrifice once again, it's gonna be tough, but I believe I'm built for this and I'm gonna make it happen. All right, so I wanna do a quick recap of last week because I did start the training block uh, last week. Uh, I topped out at 40 miles for this week. Uh, Tuesday, my SOS workout was 12 by 400 on the track, which I didn't do so hot on, but it is what it is. Uh, tempo Thursday uh, was a much better day than it was on Tuesday, but I still need to learn how to maintain that marathon pace for the duration of the tempo, but I got plenty of time to do that. Uh, the long run this week was eight miles and i was tired that principle of cumulative fatigue is very true i was tired coming into it i was tired during but i will say that my legs feel much better having done that long run afterwards so once again i've said it before i'll say it again my work is cut out for me with this training block but i know i'm built for this now while i still have you here if you didn't catch my video last week uh, i'm gonna put a link up right now for you to check that video out but also check out the uh, series that I did in 2020 when I trained for the Chicago Marathon. So I documented that whole process too. So make sure you check that out. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up here. Y'all be blessed this week. Be strong. Be courageous. And I'm out. Peace.